नंबर थ्री सी उत्तरेशन नंबर थ्री सी उत्तरेशन सी उत्तरेशन नंबर थ्री सी उत्तरेशन सी उत्तरेशन टेक डाउन प्लीज यूज्ड टू सेपरेट मिक्सिबल इज इट मिक्सिबल मिसिबल यूज्ड टू सेपरेट मिसिबल Used to separate miscible solutes from immiscible one. Miscible is on the board for immiscible. Just add im to the initial. All right. Use not mixable on the board. Miscible. It's used to separate miscible solutes from immiscible ones. All right. Miscible solutes from immiscible. Once. Um, by the way, example. If I miss what I word there, let's say the submission of what? Huh? I must say oil. The the key term there is solute. What's a solute? What's a solute? Huh? Hey, voila. What's a solute? Ah? No. A solute is simply a solid. Any solid at all is called a solute, given that it is combined with a particular liquid. That's all. Whether it can dissolve o, or it cannot dissolve o, it is still a solute. Now note, when the solute or solid can dissolve in water. It forms what is called a solution. When the solute cannot dissolve in water, it forms what is called what there a suspension. Solution no or suspension no. Solute is solute, and solute is solid. That's all. So I'm saying this: if I have solute plus solution. The, the problem is that we just use too much fanciful grammar, all right? Sorry, solid plus solvent to give you a solution. Now listen, if I have a solute, um, example is salt plus a solvent. When we say solvent, we mean a liquid. Literally, any liquid forms your solvent. So let's say plus water. If I put salt in water, well. Especially if it's not excess. If I put salt in water and I serve it to you, you will drink without knowing. Why the salt? I don't mean excess. So if you put excess to show, but if you just put small salt, they will not know. Even sugar. So if I put small salt or sugar in water and I serve it to you, you have to taste it first before you know. At that point, observe that the solid or the solute has dissolved completely. When the solute dissolves completely in the solvent, a solution is formed. It's called is salt solution get it right so if you check it's always called salt solution why is it called salt solution because the salt will dissolve in the water now this is case a case b okay, let me call this case b case a case b is when i have a particular solid so when we say solid it's just simply solid that's all, no big deal if i have a solid plus a solvent where if i mix them no matter how much I stir, it does not dissolve completely. I will have what is called what there? A suspension. It's called a suspension. Example, chalk. No matter how much I grind this chalk and put in water, it will not completely dissolve. It will not completely dissolve. You see, see what there? Particles of what there? Chalk. So it becomes what there? So if I take chalk now, chalk plus, let's say use water. This gives you not a chalk solution, but what there? A chalk suspension. That's the concept. So that's, that's what it means. So when we say solid, it just means solid. So when we say filtration, it's used to separate Miscible solutes, that means miscible solids from what there, immiscible ones. Example, if I have um, salt, I have salt, and I have what's it called? Sand, 
right? I have salt, which is miscible, and I have sand, which is immiscible. If they combine it, how do I separate them? I will use filtration. What do I do? Let's say I have a jar containing sand and salt, all mixed, all right? You have stones, stones mixed with um, salt. What do you do? Very simple. You would pour water into this. That's it. If I pour water into that and stir, what happens? The salt do what there? Dissolve with the what there? Water, leaving what? Your sand there. What's next to do there? Get your filter paper and then pour it. When I pour it, what happens? The salt and the water forming what there? Salt solution does what there? Passes through the filter paper, leaving you with what there? Sand. So by, by passing the, the mixture of salt, sand, and water, the sand will be left while the salt and water will pass through. But I still need to get salt. What do I then do there? Evaporation. The next thing to do is to do what there? Heat it. So that water that contains, what's it called? Um, salt and water, that salt solution, just put it under fire and heat it. What will happen? The water molecules do what there? Evaporate. Leaving you with what there? Salt. At that point, you have separated them. Right? That's how it works. And that's why if you cook food and you warm the food over and over and over again, what happens? Nothing happens. Let me say, you know you salt cook at all. <laughs> if you warm soup over and over, what happens to salt soup? Become salty. Become salty. Are you talking from physics? Are you talking from chemistry experiment or from experience? Which of them? Experience. From experience. <laughs> so it becomes salty. And that's why when you want to warm something, they'll say you do what there? Add water. That's the concept. Right? Example. So we are here. I said filtration is used to separate miscible solute from immiscible ones example a mixture of salt and stone can be separated using filtration i've explained that a mixture of salt and stone can be separated example a mixture of salt and stone salt and stone can be separated using filtration using filtration they could ask you to explain it. You should be able to explain it. You say to the mixture of salt and sand. What do you do? What do you do there? You pour in water. When you pour in water, what happens there? The salt dissolves in the water. What next? Pass it through what? Filter paper, not rubber. Filter paper. See, people can be just pass it through rubber. Or pass it through clothes, not clothes. Filter paper. Then what happens? So what's the temperature? How do you write it? So, okay, okay, so you tell me, pass the mixture through filter paper here. So, what next? See, you, you, see that, you, you see that thing that wants to make you small expression, you want to use five lines. Your space is small, though. All these lines you want to write, your space is small. So, how do you write it? Pass the mixture through the filter paper. The sand remains, leaving what? A salt solution, comma. Then heat the salt solution, heat it. Then heat the salt solution, comma. The solution evaporates, leaving you what you it's what there. So all those plenty grammar. How many lines I take explain them? The thing is the your line there is short. So while you're doing that stuff, think before you go and write, and then there's no space. Start messing up the paper. The next thing, then number four, after filtration, the next thing, number four is separation funnel. Yes, please. Number four, separation funnel. Please expect any of these things. Expect any of these things. You ask anyone, you should know what to do. Number four, um, in, this, in this filtration, there are two things I like saying. If they don't use salt, they use sugar. It's not like there are two major ones. They don't tell you salt or sugar. So you should know what to do. Whether it's salt or sugar, the same thing. All right. Number, number four, please. Separation funnel.
Separation funnel is used to separate two immiscible liquids. Separation funnel is used to separate two immiscible liquids like oil and water. Two immiscible liquids like oil and water or kerosene and water. Like oil and water or kerosene and water. Finally, decantation. Number five, one last one there, decantation. Of recent, this is the one they said the most. Of recent, last year, two years ago, this is the one they said the most. But then still carry this one too, but this is what they said the most. Decantation, take down please. Decantation is the process of separating a liquid from a solid. Decantation is the process of separating a liquid from a solid by gently, uh, from separating a liquid from solid, please. The process of so separating a liquid from solid by gently pouring the liquid from the solid. The process of separating a liquid from solid by gently pouring the liquid from the solid so as not to disturb the solid. So as not to disturb the solid. Please note this man. If they had to set the question, it will most likely be this one. This one has been repeated like over and over and over and over again. This, this decantation. I don't know what they like about decantation, but that's the one that's been repeated over and over and over again. Please. The answer there is decantation. The process of separating a liquid from solid by gently pouring this liquid from the solid so as not to disturb the solid. It is called decantation that's your answer uh if you if, if, if you go to ababio chemistry this is ss1 right yes. yeah you see that those are diagram there right those are yeah, diagram there don't stress let's look at something else all right we are done with filtration so expect measurement which we've done expect percentage error which we've done Expect separation and purification of substances, which we've done. And then, next up, let's look at volumetric analysis. Let's look at volumetric analysis, please.